Production assistance for Calliope is provided in part by 5D Designs. And by Louise and Warren Aldrich, partners with Calliope in healthy character development. Thank you. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Welcome to the greatest, well, second greatest show on earth. girls I'm so happy it's my favorite time of the day it's morning time morning time sun is rising morning time good morning Lucy morning time morning time birds are singing morning time good morning early bird Bok bok. Morning time, morning time. Count your blessings, morning time. Good morning, Giuseppe. Morning time, morning time. Bells are ringing, morning time. Good morning, Penelope. Morning time, morning time. How I love the morning time. Boys and girls, my name is Calliope, and someday I'm going to join my Papa the Ringmaster's traveling circus. Wow, boys and girls, look who's back in Calico Valley. It's Jemima. Thank you, dear. I've had a great trip and I'm very happy to be back home. Well, we're happy to have you back. Where did you go? I went to visit some friends in Polka Dot City and then went to a few other places. As a matter of fact, I was hoping Early Bird would be here this morning. He's probably out looking for worms for his breakfast, but I can go get him if you'd like. Oh, would you, dear Calliope? I would appreciate it so very much. Early Bird, are you home? Good morning, Calliope. What can I do for you? Good morning. Jemima has come back from her latest trip and wanted to know if you were home. Oh, wonderful. Where is she? She's over by the can phone. Come on, I'll take you over there. Good morning, little one. I thought about you while I was on my trip and I brought you back a gift. A gift for me? That's so sweet of you, Jemima. Oh, it's really nothing. Just a small trinket that made me think of Early Bird and I wanted him to have it. Oh, Jemima, they're wonderful. How in the world can I thank you for this beautiful gift? Just seeing how happy it makes you is enough for me. Now, if you will excuse me, I should go along home and unpack my trunk. 
Thank you, Calliope, for getting early bird for me. You're so welcome, Jemima. This is such a wonderful gift for me, Calliope. Nobody's ever brought me back a present from their trip before. <laughs> they are lovely, aren't they? And it's so thoughtful for Jemima to bring them back for you. You know, Calliope, this makes me want to do something nice for someone else. I think I'll do something really nice for Giuseppe because Jemima did something really nice for me. <laughs> wow, boys and girls, a good thing happening for Early Bird could lead to more good things today. We'll see what's going to happen next after these messages. We'll be right back. Boys and girls, Calliope will be right back after these messages. Welcome back, boys and girls. Hey, Giuseppe. See, si, Calliope? Early Bird was just given a nice gift by Jemima. It's something she brought back to him from one of her trips. Really, a Calliope? That's a wonderful. And because Jemima's gift made me so happy, I want to do something nice for someone. What can I do for you this morning, Giuseppe? <laughs> I don't know, early bird. The cooking of the breakfast is a pretty normal thing with me. I don't really need a help with that. Well, then I can give you a hand, I mean a wing, with the cleaning up after breakfast. <laughs> what a marvelous idea! <laughs> Giuseppe, what do you think about that? Earlier, Bird, I accept you very kind offer of helping me with the cleaning up. I'll let you know when everything's finished for breakfast and we'll do the cleaning together. It will be my pleasure, Giuseppe. Now I think I'll go get a few worms for my breakfast and come back in a little while. <laughs> That was very sweet of you, Giuseppe, letting Early Bird help with the cleaning up after breakfast. It was a very nice of a him to offer to help, a Calliope. The kitchen will be clean in a no time today. And he asked if he could help you because of the little gift Jemima brought him back from her trip. That was a sweet of her, too. Say, Calliope. Yes, Giuseppe? Since the early bird is doing something nice for me, I think I'd like to do something nice for someone. Hmm, I know. What is it? I'll whisper it to you. Oh, Giuseppe, that's a wonderful idea. You like it? I sure do. I'll go tell her now. Okay, and I'll finish a make you breakfast. Good morning, Penelope. Good morning, Calliope. Isn't it a beautiful day? It sure is. It's just, oh, I don't know how to say how beautiful it is. <laughs> well, I know something that's going to make your day a lot more beautiful. Really? What's that? Well, Jemima brought Early Bird something back from a trip that she had gone on, and it made Early Bird want to do something nice for Giuseppe, which made Giuseppe want to do something nice for you. Really? Something nice for me? Yes, Penny. Giuseppe said he's going to make you some extra special puppy treats right after breakfast. Oh my goodness! I love Giuseppe's special puppy treats! Oh, Calliope, you were right! That made this beautiful day even more so! <laughs> I knew it would! Oh, that makes me want to do something nice for someone here! What should I do? Who should I do it for? Well, Penny, that has to be your decision. <laughs> I've got it! Sneaky Sloth loves to hide things, doesn't she? That she does. Sometimes she hides them so well, no one can find it. I know what I can do. Wait here a second. Give these to Sneaky and tell her she can hide them wherever she wants to. <laughs> but Penelope, these are your 
two favorite zoo animal toys, your elephant and your giraffe. Are you sure you want to give them to Sneaky for her to hide them? Do you think she'd be happy to hide them? Oh, if I know Sneaky, she'll be very happy to hide them. Then these are the toys I want her to play with. Tell her they're from me. Penny, you're going to make Sneaky's day so much brighter with these. Well, Giuseppe has made my day a lot brighter, too. <laughs> Good morning, Sneaky. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing very well, too, today, Sneaky. And I brought you something from Penelope. <laughs> yes, these are two of her favorite zoo animal toys. And she wants you to have them to hide them as long as you wish and wherever you'd like. Because Penelope is getting some extra special puppy treats from Giuseppe, and Early Bird's going to help Giuseppe clean up the kitchen. <laughs> well, it all started when Jemima came back from one of her trips and had something special for Early Bird. So he wanted to share it with everyone. <laughs> really? Penny's gift makes you want to do something nice for someone too? Who? <laughs> oh, Sneaky, Lucy will love that. I'll be sure to tell her. Boys and girls, isn't it amazing how fast this is catching on around here, doing nice things for other people? We'll see more after these messages. We'll be right back. Ah. Welcome back, boys and girls. And good morning, Mr. McCall. Good morning, Lassie. How is your day so far? Oh, it's been great. Jemima came back from her trip with a gift for Early Bird. How sweet. That Jemima is a bunny lass indeed. And that gift made Early Bird so happy that he offered to help Giuseppe clean up the kitchen after breakfast. And that made Giuseppe so happy that he's making Penelope some puppy treats. And that made Penelope so happy that she shared some zoo animals with Sneaky and Wonderful! There's nothing like doing good things for others just because you want to. That's so true, and we're seeing how happy it makes everyone here at the caravan. Well, lass, allow me to add what little happiness I can share. There's a letter in the box for you from the Traveling Circus. <gasps> oh, it's from Mama! She's doing such a good job keeping in touch with me while the circus is out on the road. And I know how much hearing from your papa and mama means to you, Calliope. I can't wait to read the latest news from the circus. Then if you'll excuse me, I'll let you get to reading your letter. I've a lot more mail to deliver, and I can only hope it makes the other people on the route as happy as this letter makes you. Ta-ta! Bye, Mr. McCall. Well, before I tell Lucy what Sneaky wants to do for her, let's read this letter from Mama. Dearest Calliope, once again we send you our love from the road. This year's circus tour is such a success, and it's been a real blessing to the people who've come out to see it, as well as to us, the people who perform in it. I must share this with you, since I know how much you admire the clowns and want to join them on the road with us. Your favorite clown, Pasquale, was in the middle of his big act during yesterday's show when he did something nobody expected. He stopped performing, ran out of the center ring, and came back in with the newest, youngest clown in the circus. When he got the young clown into the center ring, Pasquale showed him how he does his funniest trick. And then he got everyone in the audience to cheer for the young clown as he tried to do the trick. The young clown was so funny and so happy for a few minutes. He was the star of the circus show. And Pasquale was right there with him, laughing and enjoying their performance. The young clown then started to help out with the elephant trainer, and that made the trainer so happy he did some extra work for the acrobats. Then they did something really nice for Papa, and, well dear, 
I think you can see where all this was going. After the show, everyone gathered in Papa's tent and talked about how good they felt. And everyone turned to Pasquale and thanked him for making so many people so happy, especially the young clown. It's something everybody can do, dearest. When you're in the circus or anywhere else, just do something nice for someone else. Well, that's the latest news from the circus, dear Calliope. The mail will be leaving soon, so I must finish for now. We love you and miss you, and we'll see you in the fall, Mama. I guess it's true, doing something nice for others catches on and spreads. <laughs> There's Lucy. I need to tell her what Sneaky wants to do. Good morning, Lucy. Sneaky was just here and she wanted to give you a message. Meow. Sneaky said that she's going to bring you a bag of your favorite kitty treats. Meow, meow. Mm, meow. Well, it all started when Jemima brought Early Bird something back from one of her trips and... Boys and girls, I'll tell Lucy what's been going on while you watch these messages. We'll be right back. Welcome back, boys and girls. Good morning, Happy Monkey. Good morning, Calliope. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Yes, it is, and it's become even more beautiful. Really? Why is that? Well, Jemima brought Early Bird something back from one of her trips, and it made Early Bird so happy, he offered to help Giuseppe clean up the kitchen after breakfast. Is that right? And Giuseppe is making special puppy treats for Penelope. And Penelope is going to let Sneaky hide her favorite zoo animal toys and... And it's been spreading all over the caravan, right? That's right. Well, it looks like I got here just in the nick of time then. What do you mean? Take a look in the grocery bag. Hmm, let's see. There's carrots and celery and peas and fruit and some candy the candy is for you calliope for being so sweet to me and listening to all my jokes oh thank you happy monkey thank you so much say do you have a joke for me this morning of course i do ready what did the beach say when the tide came in hmm I don't know. What did the beach say when the tide came in? Long time no see. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Happy Monkey. I'll have to remember that one. Well, Calliope, I have to head back to the market. Please give the groceries to Giuseppe and keep the candy for yourself. And have a happy day filled with joy. Bye, Happy Monkey. Well, boys and girls, I'll have to share this candy after breakfast. Right now, I've got to tell Haymon what Lucy said she wanted to do to make him happy. Good morning, Mon. Is there something happening this morning? What do you mean? I mean, everybody just seems to be a little bit happier than they usually are, Mon. Oh, yes, they are. Jemima brought early birds something back from her travels, and that made Early Bird start a chain of events that's what's going to make everybody happy today. Wow, Mon. That's fantastic. And that brings me to you, hey, Mon, with something to make you happy from Calico Lucy. Really, Mon? What's that? Lucy said if you'd like, she can help you tune your steel drums. She can meow as you tune them to each note. That would be a great big help to me, Calliope. Please tell Lucy that I accept her offer, Mon. I will, hey, Mon. And you know, this has made me want to do something nice for everybody here. What's that? Hey, Mon, do you think all of our friends here at the caravan would enjoy a picnic this afternoon? Uh, I'm sure they would, Mon. I know I would. Then that's what we'll do. We'll all go over to Patchwork Mountain this afternoon for a big picnic with games and lots of fun. Wow, Calliope, you're going to make everybody even happier, man. Uh, uh, uh. And we have Jemima and Early Bird to thank for it, too. 
Boys and girls, when Bok Bok cackles like that, it's time for Calliope's thought of the day. Thank you, Bok Bok. And the thought of the day is, doing good things for other people is a way to show that you care. Calliope, your breakfast is ready. It's breakfast time, but first we must feed our friends because they depend on us. Here you go, Lucy. Penelope, this one's for you. Here you go, Bok Bok. Here you go, Haymon. Oh, won't go away. <laughs> My fresh milk is here. Good morning, Daisy. Yes, it's a beautiful day here. And it's because we're all doing good things for each other. Really? What do the cows at the dairy do that makes everything beautiful? <laughs> I don't know if that's something we could try here or not, but it sounds like fun. Thank you for my milk, Daisy, and have a great day. Thank you, Giuseppe. You're a welcome, Calliope. I tell you, that a early bird sure can a clean things up. He's already got half of the kitchen clean and a shiny. And that makes you happy, doesn't it? It sure does. And the picnic this afternoon makes me even a happier. It's going to be fun for all. It's time to set the table, boys and girls. I like to sing the place setting song when I do this. Won't you sing along with us? Penelope is going to help us. Fork on the left. Fork on the left. Spoon on the right. Spoon on the right. Plate in the middle. Plate in the middle. Cup right here. Cup right here. Napkin in the lap. Napkin in the lap. When you set the table right, it makes mealtime a delight. I'm so glad you came to visit me today, boys and girls. And next time you're passing through Calico Valley, stop in again and see me. And don't forget the lesson that we shared. Doing good things for other people is a way to show that you care. And remember, always do your best and never, never, ever give up. And I love you. Bye-bye.